Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, all snuggled up in my husband's sweatshirts. I got how many? <laughs> oh boy, I mean, I am bundled up. But anyway, this is what I want to share with you. Isaiah chapter 60, verses 1 through 5, and then verses 18 through the end. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Now, let me stop here for a second. This is... This is a time that can be very scary. It feels very precarious. I know many of us are talking on phones, trying to figure out what's coming next. Is there going to be some type of a devastation following all of these crazy events right here in this country? But I want to say something to you. God, if you are in Christ, God is your salvation not President Trump, not the government, not the banking system, not food stamps. God is your salvation. Now, let me read this again, and we'll go on. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and the kings to thy brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about, and see, all oh, they gather themselves, they come to thee. Thy son shall come from far, and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side." Thou shalt see and flow together in thine heart, shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. Going down to verse 18. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders, but thou shalt call thy walls salvation and thy gates praise. The sun shall no more be thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy glory, and thy God, thy glory. Thy sun shall no more go down, neither shall thy moon withdraw itself. For the Lord shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy mourning shall be ended. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, I've got to stop right there. Now, yes, we are moving into a dark era. We are Things are getting ready to get darker and darker, and we are very aware that this is probably the beginning of sorrows. But God's people have a covenant. There are promises we have. I say to you, I know the word says people's hearts will fail them for fear. But every time you think about getting afraid, every time you think about worrying, fretting, what if, what should I do? What am I? Ask God. Go to God for direction. Go to God for comfort. God is not a deadbeat dead. He will look after you. Now, you have to be flexible. You have to be ready, willing, and obedient. Because God may tell you, tonight, drive to so-and-so's house. He may tell you, hop a plane and go to this country, that state, this city, whatever. He may even tell you, stay in your house for the next week. Get everything you need and stay in your house. Take off from work. Get your money out of the bank. Whatever. You have no idea. But this is what I want to say to you. We are not to be dummied down. We are not to be blind, crippled, and crazy. So what we have to do is become very aware 
of what's going on without dwelling on it. Just be aware. Watch and pray. All right. Now, as you see what God tells you to do, remember this. Before you hit the panic button, powers that be in this world are pretty much running all the countries. Pretty much. At least the majority of them, including America. And trust me, they're putting their little heads together. <laughs> and they've got little schemes and little agendas going on. But think of this. Whatever happens is meant to happen. What the devil means for bad, God will use for his people's good. Are you one of his? Now, the other thing you have to think about, before you hit the panic button, there are secret agendas going on. I said in, a, in several videos back that I do believe that when the government begins to create, and yes, I did say create, a crisis, it is meant to introduce a solution, but the solution may be tied to the devil's schemes. For example, imagine we go into martial law. Imagine we have issues with food and supply and provision and money and all that kind of stuff. Well, then what's the next step? Martial law? Maybe, could be, who knows? The next step after martial law, take one guess. Take one wild guess. I would not be surprised if all of a sudden we had to introduce the mark of the beast. If all of a sudden certain countries, certain heads of countries had to join with the heads of this country and all of a sudden laws start getting changed and money starts getting changed and everything starts getting different, all of a sudden, just like the people who went to Sam's store and they realized that when they went to Sam's, there was nothing more than a note. Sorry, Charlie, we're closed. See ya, wouldn't want to be ya. Now, folks couldn't shop there. Folks couldn't work there. All of a sudden, Sam's is no more. Don't be surprised if that kind of thing is in the works for this country. But fear not. Your light, your sun, the brightness of your hope should not be based on this country, should not be based on this government. Your hope should be in God himself. He is the one. He's the lifter up of your head. He is your provider. He's your healer. He's your protection. He's your refuge. He's a very present help in trouble. Call on him. Ask him to remove your fear and enable you to trust in him better. And he will help you and he will give you answers. God bless you as you learn where to put your trust. Don't dwell in fear. Get acclimated to the walk of faith that's necessary to have an ear to hear and an eye to see when God is shedding a new light on a new pathway to go a different way than you've ever gone before for your protection, for your provision, for your safety. Let all of God's people have an ear to hear. And those who are not God's people, give him your heart. Now, today is the day of salvation. You see how things are churning. And whatever you do, do not, and I repeat, do not take the mark. That is a permanent fix and a one-way ticket to hell. 